Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, we will learn about the data types and variable declaration in Fortran. In Fortran, data types uh, can be divided into two parts. One is intrinsic and another is derived data type. I will discuss about the derived data type later on in this course. But uh, for now, let's concentrate on the intrinsic data type. Again, intrinsic data type can again be uh, di divided into two parts one is numeric data type and another is non numeric data type numeric data type can be divided into five types that is integer real double precision complex uh, boolean constants and non numeric data types can be uh, divided into three parts logical character and character pointer types so now let's see what these data types actually stands for let's write a small program uh, to understand about this data type. So now we are in uh, code blocks and let's write a program. So first let's write or describe our program. Now write the program name. Now write implicit none. Now one may ask why should we include uh, this command implicit none actually in fortran the alphabets from a to h and uh, o to z by default represents real variables and i to n by default represents uh, integer data types now these inbuilt data types may sometimes cause problems while we are dealing with large programs uh, so to avoid this we use implicit none this declaration or that is implicit none command forces the programmer to define each and every variable explicitly so that is why we use implicit none now let's try to print the value of 22 by 7 and we all know uh, it is the value of pi and uh, it is a constant in fortran so let's write print star and 22 by 7 okay so now build it and run it so this is the result and you may find it uh, quite odd because it only prints 3 and we know that the value of pi or 22 by 7 is 3.1415 like this and it goes on so what is happening here actually this 22 by 7 it means uh, Fortran already consider it as an integer so it only prints 3 and uh, it uh, do not display rest of the decimal parts so to print the complete value uh, you should write it like this print just put our decimal after 22 or after 7 then Fortran will consider it as a real number so now if you build and run it now see uh, this is the value of 22 by 7 and it prints the decimal places up to 8 significant digits now let's declare some variables in different data types okay so to declare uh, the variable you should write them at the top of the program so uh, first integer a for real uh, say write it ar for double precision write ad for complex let's write ac okay now again uh, let's print this value for each data type so let's first assign the variable uh, this is the assignment operator this is single uh, equal sign represents an assignment operator okay so write 22 by 7 and for all other places and ac equals to okay now print all the variables that is a ar ad and ac okay let's see 
so now this is our output as you can see the first output is for a which is integer so it it prints only three the second is a real number so it prints up to eight decimal places the next one is a double precision number so it prints up to 16 decimal places and the last one is a complex number and uh, it is a complex representation in Fortran so first part is the real part and the uh, next part is the that is the part after this comma is the complex part which is obviously zero in this case so a single precision number or a real number uh, prints the digit up to seven to nine significant digits but a double precision number prints 15 to 17 significant digits now there is another thing that i would like to tell you uh, that is you can define the data type explicitly that is um, you can define it like this to say b equals to i t and it's 22.7 this i and t uh, means it will only print the integer part and as we saw earlier the value of this 22 uh, by 7 with a decimal point uh, it prints the value up to certain decimal places but if we use this int command then it will only print the integer part that is we are forcing Fortran to print the integer part from the real number again you can uh, define it as real and just write 22 by 7 and we saw it before that 22 by 7 only prints 3 that is the integer part so let's see what will happen if we force uh, if we forcefully declare this as a, a real number so let's try to print b and c now as i told you before that Fortran is case insensitive that is it doesn't matter whether you writing print in capital letters or small letter so you can write it print like this okay so now build it and run it so it seems i did not declare the data type okay i do not need b and c let's print its value control v okay i do not need b and c and let's make them comment so putting an exclamation symbol before the lines uh, make the line a comment and fortran will not consider it as a executable statement now build and run it so this is our output uh, leave the first four now look at this last two so uh, we print first 22 decimal uh, by 7 and we forcefully define it as a integer data type so it only prints 3 and in the second case though we know the answer is 3 but uh, it actually prints uh, up to certain decimal places so now let's print a character so let's delete all this and say character a C H okay now say A C H equals to say uh, yes y okay now print let's print now uh, you should uh, remember that each string should be contained within inverted commas now let's print the character A C H now build and run it so it prints the character y now let's see can we write can we print yes y e s let's see so it seems it's not possible because it is only printing the first character so what do we have to do so we have to uh, define an uh, attribute so uh, actually defining character or defining this uh, data type character it means Fortran will only print one character but uh, you can increase the length obviously so just define 
attribute like this len equals to say 5 and now you have to put double colons so this actually this double colons actually used to separate attribute of the variable to the variable name if you uh, do not include an attribute then it is not necessary to uh, use double colon but it is a good practice so it is better that uh, you include double colons in each declaration okay because uh, sometimes we need to define some parameters some real parameters or integer parameters then we have to use this double colon so it is better to use uh, for each program so now let's try to run it so yes it prints all the characters so it works like this uh, here i define length up to 5 so if i increase the length of this string uh, beyond 5 then it will only uh, it will only print up to 5 character so we learn about a uh, single precision and double precision data types and we saw that it uh, prints up to certain decimal places uh, maybe 8 or 16 or 17 so but now the question is can we control the number of decimal places in a real number say uh, say i want to print the value of pi up to 50 or 100 decimal places or say up to three decimal places so the question is can we do it okay we will explore it in the next video so see you in the next video